Hello, dear fans, friends, and subscribers of Cricket Happenings. This is your host, Ram, welcoming you to your daily edition of the Cricket Happening Show. And on this Cricket Happening Show, uh, what I'm going to look at is the second day's play between Pakistan and Sussex. Where Sussex put up Sussex batsmen. Uh, one has to really, really commend them uh, that even though they didn't boast of a full strength side, I thought Sussex did very well. Uh, to thwart the likes of Mohamed Amir and Wahab Riaz, which I'll be talking about. Um, uh, so that is something Sussex did a very, very good job, which I'll be talking about. Uh, and also uh, in the Caribbean Premier League today, Guyana Amazon Warriors, uh, who are on the top of the table now uh, in the Caribbean Premier League, are doing a fine job. Today they got a victory over the uh, Patriots on a, uh, in, on a real spinning pitch. So first, uh, let's uh, head towards the first thing. And that would be the Pakistan versus Sussex. So today was the second day's play here um, between Sussex and uh, Pakistan at home. And uh, Pakistan actually declaring their uh, innings closed uh, at their overnight score of 363 for five. And uh, let me tell you today, uh, even though, uh, even though, uh, oh sorry, today there was no um, uh, Mohamed Amir. I'm extremely sorry about it. Uh, there was no Mohamed Ami, so, so that was the big difference. So I, I really spoke a bit too early. Sorry about it. So Wahab Riaz was there, but Wahab Riaz was also uh, really, really um, carted, one could say. And uh, Sussex had to be credited. Uh, in fact, they put up, uh, they, they declared with at 291 for five. And uh, the majority of that was done in an opening partnership uh, between Luke Wells and Finch. Now, Finch was someone... Uh, who was actually opening for the very first time and that was the big thing about it and uh, Wells and Finch uh, um, uh, dealing against the Pakistani bowling attack which consisted of Imran Khan uh, who bowled well I thought, Sohail Khan, Wahab Riaz, the support bowlers for Mohamed Amir one could say and today they were absolutely, uh, they, 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 they were really really uh, not, I mean they, they were really uh, stray. I mean, barring Imran Khan, I thought Sohail Khan and Wahab Riaz did not bowl a good line and they got punished in a very big way. As I said, Finch was actually opening the batting for the first time uh, and Luke Wells. And Luke Wells was uh, the aggressive partner. He was uh, striking it beautifully and uh, uh, and they were taking full toll uh, of this uh, bowling which was done by the Pakistanis. And Luke Wells and Finch uh, what a opening partnership. They added 212 runs for the first wicket uh, with Luke Wells contributing 93 uh, with 17 boundaries and Finch uh, first time opening the innings uh, made 103 uh, of uh, with 16 boundaries and three sixes. Uh, Machan was uh, Machan made 13 uh, with three boundaries. Craig Kachopa 19 with three boundaries. Uh, Brown was out for not and Salt uh, the, on his debut uh, was impressive as well. 37 unbeaten runs with 5 boundaries. Now, as I said, uh, uh, Imran Khan, the bowler was the most, uh, the pick of the lot, one could say. 13 overs, 2 maidens, uh, 2 for 60 for Imran Khan. Sohail Khan, 16 overs, 2 maidens, none for 79. Riaz at 2 for 62. And uh, considering uh, the way uh, the Pakistani bowled, one uh, one really, really raises questions. As I said, the Sussex are not at full strength, and this um, these are the support bowlers who are going to be operating with the uh, the, the the with Mohammad Amir. And Mohammad Amir was not there, so that is that's a definitely a big difference. But also the support bowlers, uh, I mean, they they have been dealt with uh, in such a manner. Yes, they bowled a, a wrong line uh, to Luke Wells and Finch. Uh, and they got duly punished. Now, this is really not good news for Pakistan because Mohamed Amir also needs support in the test matches and uh, that's not going to be placed. I think uh, Pakistan will struggle. So the bowling is something uh, that uh, they need to seriously, seriously look at. Babar, uh, 1 for 66. And let's have a look at what Pakistan did. So Pakistan, uh, um, uh, the openers, once again, Mohamed Afiz uh, continued his very, very poor form uh, on this tour of England. Once again, it was Jofra, Jofra Archer uh, picked up his uh, picked up uh, the solitary wicket to go today, and he picked up Mohamed Hafiz for 23 uh, with five boundaries. Even though Mohamed Hafiz uh, hit some boundaries, but uh, Hafiz definitely uh, could not go on to a good score, and not, now that is not something which is encouraging for Pakistan, especially considering that the first test is uh, drawing. Uh, the first test is. Uh, just nearing on July the 14th. 
Uh, Sean Masood has scratched his way around uh, with 38, an unconvincing 38, one could say, uh, 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 with five boundaries. Azhar Ali was not out of nine. 71 for one was on the board for the uh, Pakistanis at close of play. Yes, they definitely have the lead. So tomorrow is the final day's play coming up. They're leading with 143 runs with nine wickets remaining. And it'll be interesting to see what happens. Well, uh, but Pakistani bowling has to really, really perk up. Otherwise, uh, they are not, uh, I mean, it is not encouraging news for Pakistan, considering the first test match is coming up and uh, the bowlers are all, all over the place. Now, uh, let's have a look at the Caribbean Premier League now. <laughs> now, looking at the Caribbean Premier League, the match that happened today, uh, it was the Guyana Amazon Warriors taking on the Patriots. Uh, it was the Patriots who actually batted first at this Providence Stadium in Guyana. And um, and one knew that this was a pitch which was uh, really helping the spinners. And um, St. Kitts and Nevis Patriots uh, uh, put 108 for 8 on the board. Uh, the uh, the main scorer being uh, Lendl Simmons, uh, who, uh, who actually, uh, I would say, uh, really took, uh, uh, sussed up the pitch well uh, and uh, played well. I thought he really played the spinners very well uh, and also held the innings for the uh, Navy's Patriots uh, to uh, put up uh, uh, 50 uh, of 60 balls with two fours and one six. Other than Evan Lewis, definitely, I mean, he has been so consistent in this uh, Caribbean Premier League, as we all know. Uh, but today I have to tell you uh, that um, uh, Evan Lewis definitely struggled on this turning pitch. Uh, even uh, Sohel Tanvir once again bowling a superb line. Uh, four overs, no maiden, one for 19. Look at Jacobs, the off spinner. Four overs, no maiden, one for seven. Splendid bowling figures. Uh, Ryan Embrett, 1 for 24. Zampa did a fine job. 3 for 18 for him. Permal had 1 for 25. Uh, and that was the bowling figures as far as the Guy Amazon Warriors bowlers were concerned. Uh, Lewis has, um, Evan Lewis has been doing a fine job in this Caribbean Premier League so far today. Definitely, definitely struggled. And uh, finally, it was LBW Bob Jacobs for 4 after consuming 18 deliveries. <laughs> Thistra Pereira promoted in the batting order to no avail. Was out for not. Uh, Duplessis was cheaply dismissed by Zampa for one. Jonathan Carter making 15 of 14 deliveries, 1-4. Uh, Thomas uh, uh, made only 9 of 7 balls with 1-4. Smuts uh, was clean bowled by Zampa for not. Uh, Brooks uh, um, uh, towards the end uh, stroke 19 of 9 deliveries, 1-4 and 1-6. Santoki and uh, Badri was not out on not respectively. Uh, 108 for 8 uh, on this turning pitch was always going to be difficult. It was not an easy job and we saw that. Uh, when it happened. In fact, Green Smith was dismissed cheaply by Smuts for five, but Martin Guptill was the only player on either side, one could say, uh, who really didn't really bother uh, about uh, the, the turn on the pitch and he was taking the ball on the full and really slamming it as uh, he he um, he actually smacked 43 of just 22 deliveries with three fours and four sixes and the support for him came from Chris Lynn. Uh, who supported him very well uh, with a knock of 34 of 37 deliveries, two fours and one six. And uh, once Guptil's wicket went, uh, there was definitely a, a sort of a, a real, uh, not not a big difference, but definitely uh, it really, really would have frightened Guyana Amazon Warriors because they lost Jason Muhammad for four, uh, Barnwell for not, Bramble was bowled by Shamsi for one, and suddenly there was a bit of a tension in the air there. But uh, finally it was Sohail Tanvir, uh, Kohli, uh, making an unbeaten 12, 15 deliveries with 1-4 and Jacobs not out on 2, taking them to victory, 109 for 6 and that was the victory for the Guyana Amazon Warriors and the Guyana Amazon Warriors are the ones who are at the top of the table doing a fine job but Patriots are really, really struggling in this Caribbean Premier League uh, they have just won one match and they are really, really struggling uh, the bowling, Santoki 4 was none for 19, bowled well, Smuts at 2 for 40 uh, Badri 4 was 2 for 18, did a fine job, 2 for 27 for Shamsi uh, but again, the runs were pretty less to defend. and uh, uh, But Martin Guptill took away the Man of the Match award. Uh, what a match we had. I mean, uh, as, a, as I said, Guyan Amazon Warriors are the ones who are very, very impressive in this Karim and Premier League. They have been doing a fine job. Uh, the batsmen are been, the batsmen and bowling have been um, uh, supporting uh, each other uh, very well. So they complement each other very well. And uh, they did a fine job. And uh, so that's, that's the uh, victory for the Guyan Amazon Warriors. Uh, well, other than that, other than that, dear fans, subscribers, uh, I don't have anything else to share that uh, really sums up my cricket happening show for today. Hope you all enjoyed it and there's more to come tomorrow uh, on my next cricket happening show. That's on a Sunday. Till such time, I see you. Uh, it's um, uh, your host, Ram, saying goodbye. Thank you.